this frame, but I wanted to give you a little rundown on what is going on. So this is my deck of panning 2022 video. I did start doing deck of panning in September, 2021, but I didn't really post on YouTube. I did get posted onto Instagram, but not to YouTube. And then even that just kind of even felt weird. I'm here, I'm doing it, I'm getting it posted. I just wanna thank Kelly from Keep Beauty Real for being real with me and honest with me and encouraging me to just get in here and do it. If you are doing deck of panning and you want a community to join up with, we have a Facebook group, it's really fun and I hope that more people will join this year and that they will get into deck of panning. If you just want to join the fun group, you can do that as well. And this is it. I know you're not gonna get to see me draw these live, but these were my cards from January. I've written on each of these cards what I got. So I have seven cards here and you might be like, I thought we were supposed to do five. Rules will be explained more at the end, but what this boils down to is that I drew the Ace of Spades and the Ace of Spades means that I have to draw an extra card. It in itself does not represent an item. It just represents that I have to draw two cards to replace it. So we're gonna put this one to the side and I'm going to show you what I drew to replace it. So to replace it, I actually got a couple of cards. I'm, these may not be exactly, I'm pretty sure it was the 10 and this one. I'm pretty sure, yes. Um, so I got the 10 of diamonds and I got the five of clubs. So the 10 of diamonds is for you to do a Glitter, glitter was the prompt. So anything could be glittery. And what I chose to pick to represent glitter is this lipstick here. This is the Blitz Trance um, formula from Pat McGrath. And as you can tell, the tube is very glittery. But what you can't tell is that the lipstick itself is very glittery. Let's see if I can change some lighting here so you can see. I think, you, yes, you should be able to see that is a uh, very glittery shade. In fact, it's so glittery and glimmery that you can feel the glitter on your lips. So if you don't want to feel the glitter on your lips, you should probably avoid this formula. But I did find it to be beautiful. I didn't know if I was going to be happy about the glitter in it, but I loved it. And in fact, I loved it so much that my goal was to use it 10 times and I used it 12, maybe even 13 times. Um, actually, according to this, yes, I did use it 13 times. Um, a little trick I have for keeping track of all of this, I take a very, very fine point Sharpie, the very fine point Sharpie, and every time I use a product, I put a tick mark on it. Now, I don't do that for all of my makeup, but I do that for all of my makeup that I'm using for deck of panning. It just helps me keep track of it. The other thing I do is I have an acrylic drawer, and I'll show that to you in a minute, and I keep all the makeup I'm using for deck of panning in that, and some of the body products, if that happens, whatever I can, I'm trying to keep in there so that I'll use it. So that's that. Now, since I did reach the end of that card, but it's an extra card, I go down now to five cards for next month, five items. So I don't replace that card. My next prog product that I had was this. So this is the five of clubs. And last month that meant that I was supposed to do a body care product. So for the body care product, I picked this. This is the Inhibit Body um, body Serum. It's supposed to keep you looking hair-free for longer. I do find that this works. It's from the chemistry brand, but like anything, if you're not using it, it doesn't work. So I really wanted to get this used up. I purchased it 2020 Black Friday, and I noticed that it has really gone dark. Now that black line at the top is where I was at the start of this product um, at the pro project, excuse me. So when I rolled this in in January, I was at the black line and you can tell I'm more than halfway down, but it's not out. So I'm gonna be keeping this in for the month of February. And that means I will not be drawing another card for this item. We're gonna put it here on the end and then I am gonna be taking the five and I'm just gonna stick it into the box that I have in front of me. So I do keep my, I'll show you my box here at the end, but I have a little acrylic box that I keep everything in for what I'm actually currently working on. So the next um, card that I drew was the five of spades. So for the five of spades, the prompt last month in January was concealer. And so I did not finish that up. I really, really, really wanna get this used up. This is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Anti, 
a self, it's, it's a light capturing self setting concealer. I would say it does that. It's great. I've had it for a really long time. It's really borderline too light for me right now, but I'm hoping that because it's winter, my skin will lighten up a little bit more. I did go to Mexico in January. And so I'm a little bit late to the game per my usual um, skin cycle to be as light as I normally would be, but I do want to get this used up. So it is a good concealer shade for me for eye brightening, not a whole lot else. And I do want to get this used up. It was 29 grams at the beginning. And I don't think I wrote down an update. So let's grab, yeah, 28 grams. That's what I thought. And so, I mean, come on, The right? next card that I drew was um, the Five of Diamonds for the Prompt Autumn. And what I decided to put in for this is actually the Natasha Denona Bieber palette. This is the Bieber palette here. And I really, really liked this. Not only did I get my um, 12 uses, 10 use goal out of it, I actually got 11. So I'm really happy with getting 11. It strikes me to be a fall spring palette. It's got a lot of warm tones in it that sometimes I like in the spring, but it was a challenge for me to use this and I'm really happy to rotate this out and I'm very happy that I met my goal so that I can do that. And so yes, so Biba got rotated out and that now means there's one product that I'll have to draw a card to replace. So the next card that I had was for a random number generator. So I have not all of my collection, but a lot of my collection into an app. So I have the total number of products that I own. And I that's kind of an ever changing thing as I declutter or as things are given to me as gifts. Um, I don't get PR, obviously. I'm, I mean, if you're watching this, you know I don't get PR, right? I'm, anyway, so I drew the number 334 of my total collection of 341. I used a random number generator online where you can put your minimum number and your maximum number, and I just did that. And so um, item number 334 for me, Biscotti from Sydney Grace. It is a warm silver. So if like me, warmer colors suit you better, this might be one that you like. I loved this color, but I also found it to be very challenging since I was using Biba to use, it, it didn't really go with that, but I did force myself to use that. And you can see Val Pal, um, I made a Valentine's palette and I used it in that as well. So I did use this 13 times as well, which means this is rotated out. My goal is to use it 10 times finished. So that's a second product that I can draw from the Jack of Hearts. And now that's gonna be recycled out to a new one. The final product from January was the Three of Clubs. This is for a cream product. Now cream products are um, notoriously hard to use up, I think, but they also can go bad. So I picked the Mali Eyeshadow Stick in Coco. I actually put two up for people to vote on in various social media platforms and um, overwhelmingly, it is interesting in one group, everybody thought that I should go for this light pink shade. And then in another group, everybody thought I should go for cocoa. And then, um, just, I decided to go with that group. There was a little bit more, um, votes were almost identical, but that group is a panning group. And I felt like I would go with what the panners at large agreed that I should do. I don't know if they did it because they're like, you're never going to get there. Or if they did it because they were really trying to tell me, no, it's gonna be way too hard otherwise. Nobody gave their reasons, but anyway, it started at 12 grams, the Mali eyeshadow stick right here. This is Coco, and I did use it a bunch. I didn't mark on the side as much as I had used it, but it started at 12 grams, including the cap. So the current grams of this, I'm just gonna make sure we're zeroed, including the component, 11 grams. I mean, all of that, it's so crazy. And it, it's only down one gram. I actually used this so much. So my plan to try to get this used up because it's gonna take me like a lifetime, I think, is to actually start using this to tight line and to use it as a liner. And I am finding so far that that's working really well. I might use it in my brows. I, it might be a bit dark, I haven't decided. Um, so I've actually got a Mali uh, brush in here that works really well for tight lining. I actually don't prefer this brush for brows. It's just kind of large, but I will show you the shade is like a very dark black brown. It, it is an enjoyable product, but it isn't used up. So then this card sticks around for another month. Do I think I'm gonna use the Mali product up in the next month? No, 
I only used up one gram. It might take me the entire year to use this Mally product up. I don't think that concealer is going anywhere anytime soon either. I'm going to be shocked if it's less than three months. I am hoping to use up the Inhibit Serum in the next month because obviously I made really great progress with that. So I feel good about that product specifically. But I knew going in and drawing two more products, I really needed to put usage goals on those products that I can actually achieve. So for the next uh, month, so these would be my February draws, I drew the Jack of Spades and I drew the Three of Spades. Now, the Jack of Spades, I got a random color generator. I'll show you the color that I picked here in just a minute. And then for the Three of Spades, the theme is glowy. So for glowy, I'm just gonna show you that first. I put this in here. This is an Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. Eye cream you use so little of this eye cream. It's a very pearly pink, pearly pink color. And I'm just gonna show you. Um, it is supposed to brighten into puff. It has caffeine in it, ginseng, and it is a lovely, lovely moisturizing. And I'm looking so tired. Why not put it on? I haven't put it on today. And so I'm not going to, um, my goal is to get it used up, but if I finish this up before the end of the February round, which would be March 20th, I am going to roll another glowy product in because it is important to me that I get through products. So it'll be a victory, but it might be a double victory. We'll see. So that is for glowy. All right, for the Jack of Spades, it's a random color generator. And I went to random.org pulled up a color and this is the color that I got from random.org. Now this is slightly more green in person, but I think it's significantly more accurate than when I was originally filming it. It is 0F7D82, if you're following along. So it is a little bit more um, jade in person. What I'm wearing is maybe a bit on the green side. What you're seeing here is maybe a little bit on the blue side. And so I decided to roll in a 10 use challenge and I wanted to go with my Natasha Denona gold. And the reason is I went through and swatched everything I have that is in that color family and both of these qualified and this palette just needs so much more use. It looks a little bit beat up because this shade was actually completely loosened in the pan um, and had dehydrated and fallen out and then this shade had done the same. I was able to repress this shade, which is called um, um, Aurora, and it's a CK. So I don't know what CK stands for. The other one is a CP. CP, I was not able, every time I'd repress it, it would just come right back out. So I used a handy dandy old school trick that I know, and I thought I would share it with you really quickly because as you're panning, you might have broken products, or if you've even ordered online, you might have broken products. And the trick is this, it's very simple. Just get yourself some lash glue. Put a little bit of lash glue where the pan is at and then let it sit until it's tacky. Put the, um, the product back in and then it will set up. Now you will lose in the end a very slight amount of product, but it's totally worth it to save it from falling out every time you open it. I'm gonna just give you a little example here of one that I did that with that I'm using and loving. So this is from Givenchy, so not a cheap brand at all. This was not a cheap powder. This is shade one in their Healthy Glow powder. So here you can see this is firmly pressed into the pan from the manufacturer. This whole thing had fallen out. Glued in great. Yeah, it's not coming out at all. So I did that with the Natasha Denona Gold as well. It worked out like I hoped. And so yeah, I'm gonna get the good use out of this that it deserves. So my goal for this palette is 10 times starting today, which is exciting. I've been waiting to use it and we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching. If you're done watching what I chose in this month and if you're done watching my current progress, thank you for taking the time to do so. The reason I'm doing this is to get more use out of my collection and then it's a really fun panning community. So that's the reason I'm doing it the way that I am. But let me know your motivations, how you're using more of what you have instead of consuming and purchasing more of what is out there. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.